Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode two of World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. World of the Final Fantasy. Yes, we're playing the first chapter of World of Final Fantasy. We just went through the tutorial level. How do we quick look and had our first moment of oh, combat? Hello. This I is the chapter. Start so really, you haven't missed anything. If you watched the last episode, for? go and join it on go the playlist. You can see it there. It. Okay. Time to steal us a Choco Chick. It really does. I mean, this game is terrifying, <laughs> like a Pokemon game with even the startup combat animations. That's one smarmy looking Tama. I was like, yeah, bitch, so I'm on top. First, you're the going to need this. It looks sort of like a prismarium. What is it? That's the cloud of prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every you mean time you find a new the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Why, that's Whoa. great. Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. <laughs> and then when you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. It only the first time the mind. Oh, for the only okay, first one we can first, catch. Try the weekly right, the Right, so that's actually if you want to catch prism. multiples of any one that you find. It's a good idea. So, because uh, I'm assuming you can actually do like bonding and synthesizing later on. <laughs> Just fork over the whole lot of them right now? Come on, where's the fun in that? Besides, she doesn't do bulk orders. Don't worry, you'll be a friend, able to befriend almost every mirage you meet, eventually. But be sure to take time to get to know the fans who you have before looking for new ones. I think I've actually found that character's voice. It's there. That's gonna hurt like a motherfucker. I need to grab a drink. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. Need to keep that on hand so I can keep myself from hurting myself really badly. Oh. Right. Let's see. Once a prism holds a mirage, it is known as a prismarium. A mirage prismarium allows you to use a mirage in battle. If you look closely at prismarium, you can see a miniature world inside. They're like snow globes, but be nice and don't try to shake them. Oh. <laughs> oh. They actually just give them a little digital home. Throw an empty prism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how that works. Um. Switch between mirages with L1, R1. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Dragon shell, bravery, he is. Well, so that's all status information. Libra! Use physical attacks to create a prism tunity. Prism. Oh god. Prism tunity? Alright. Alright. That's kind of funny. Oh, so funny. There! A prism tunity! Use the Imprism command to the claim that mirage for your own. To the claim. Go on. The select the Imprism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Always. Yeah. Put them in the state of the... All right. So the Prism Journey is only a chance to get them. You don't immediately... So essentially, it's like uh, weakening, just. Will he get to move first? Ah. Pokeball, go! Oh, I thought for a second there it wasn't actually going to work. Hey, the it was successful! It. Now that the Choco Chick is inside the Prismarium, it's yours to the keep! We did it! To the oh, keep? Yeah. Oh, we have to give it back at the keep? Alright, oh, fair enough. Level up. Why well, ain't that cute? There we go. So caught him as a smallie boy. I'm gonna name him. So what shall we call Choco Chick? Um, Pidgey. <laughs> I don't know how many people are actually gonna do this, and if I actually can. Oh, please tell me it allows me to do that. I was looking at that there, I thought because it was red, it was going like, you can't call it Pidgey, that's not what its name is. Pidgeotto! Cool. I can see the Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, what watch, heck? I'll just show you. That should be making noise. Oh, now I get it. 
So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. When we right. up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Yeah, so that's essentially just so a way like of combining, combining your strength on your skills. Robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye bye, super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. So, Voltron's a thing like in this news. world? It's true I that assume, we're individually in weaker when we're unstacked. But look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very that makes helpful. Sense. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job. So yeah, um, I kind of noticed that whenever I was playing through the demo, that the mechanics of the stack can be changed around to fit the circumstance if you need more attacks, but everybody's kind of like HP at low levels is quite low, so I assume you, that's something you do at a little bit of a higher level whenever you have uh, much more strength in your team, really, to work from. Stack setup, okay. Smaller goes on top of the bigger, makes sense. And yeah. Small, medium, and large. That works! By the way, you two can be switch between giant size and lilacan size. Depending on your size, you can make different... Yeah, I can make different stacks. That makes sense. So, um, her lilacan stack will be... Pidgey! Oh, so Pidgey! So, so Pidgey! Yeah, she's gonna keep Pidgey. And... This is going to be that. There we go. That is all sorted. And buildies. Right, so Libra, Foxfire, and the Pidgey doesn't have anything at the second. At the second for their moves. Did I have items there as well, didn't I? Aye. Well, I have that prism from the Yurugu that I couldn't capture. It's annoying. And then, of course, Coliseum tickets! Yay! Well, that's stuff that I'm going to pick up later on. Anything in the tip jar I didn't notice? Oh, God, there's, like, shitloads of stuff in here. Yeah, that's all for, like, setup stacks, so... Yeah, I should be grabbing for that. So let's rock and roll! You won't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to be in Lilican form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time! Huh? Okay. A dead end? But there's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? I'm assuming this the fear. box Look has something to do with this where I need to go. To the be a wall, but it's actually a gimme golem. Is this a mirage? Gimme too? golem? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. Okay. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the gimme golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. Okie dokie. Let's take a look. Gimme, gimme! Luster leaf. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But the first down? The first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board. Right, so this is the leveling system that they've actually decided to input in this. The Mirage Board reminds me of the Sphere Grid from Final Fantasy X, in a way. Uh, although, uh, I don't know if it's actually... Uh, whenever it's, I was about to say simplified, but it still uses actually like empty sphere spots to actually like let you customize how much that you're going to be using on it. I'm a little bit dubious about um, using any of those uh, skill slots or skill things on a mirage because they're going to be the interchangeable bits but I imagine if you dump them all into your main characters that's probably the way to um, really uh, power yourself or like overpower yourself in the early parts of the game oh no you don't even have ones for them so it's only the mirages that you have them on Fuck. all right oh 
So yeah, there's actually like other spheres. Like, I mean, this creature can be small, medium, or large, but you have to kind of complete these sections to get to the other sizes of them, which is a really cool developmental choice. And so, stroll. And how many more do I have? Uh, I've got two more SP. No? Yes? Should I teach it RAM? Nah, I just need Stroll for now. Don't really need to actually add any more moves. Although, I'll take a look at um, Tama to see what is there anything really interesting on hers. I'm gonna probably have Tama around with me most of the time. Yeah, I wanna get down to Cure as fast as possible, really, actually, so. Hmm. Ah, don't have enough. So I need three more SP to do a uh, cure. That's grand. You know what will be my next skill that I grab? It's just the fact always useful to have a skill of some sort to use. Uh, hey, it's a cure skill of some sort. Hey, come along for a stroll. Yay! Look at you adorable little shit. You found it. Huh? You found it? Yay! Fair play, Tim. Little wondery try chick. examining the gimme golem one more at a time. Huh? Dokey. I found something. Gimme, gimme. Give it lost leaf. No, it's my lost leaf. Not for you, Higgins. You had yours. Whoa! It vanished. That's so cool. I guess the choco chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Of a mirage of the two, there's nothing that you can't I just realized you Tama reminds me of. Are for much the oh, the wee tiny. Yep, 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 yep. Dinosaur from uh, Land Before Time. Oh, what the name of that one was? What was the name of that wee tiny dinosaur? So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on yep, your mirage yep, yep. boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Grimmore like a pair of the pros. Why, thank you very much. Huh? It found something. Did he? It doesn't seem to imply that he found anything. Look at this cute thing, he runs alongside you. <laughs> it's actually like he runs in like vector directions, which is kind of weird. So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Three potions! Yay! Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle that out and go back to their own world. Right, so that's huh. what the mirages actually are. They're kind of like figments of everybody's imagination. It's a nice touch. Wait, now that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh, it's like right there on the tip of my tongue. Hmm. I'm assuming it would What's have been this? a parent. This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we say... Mirages? Oh, man, let's go catch them. <laughs> a little bit over eager. Woohoo! Behemoth! Uh, Behemoth! This one's not very cute. Yeah, we can kick its ass. Mon! Why did you... Now what do we do? I tried Run! to tell you. Inside Mercris, you're likely to find mirages that are the strong and dangerous. Great. Try to the tell us. Try a little harder, please. <laughs> Ow. Um, I imagine I'm going to go with, uh, okay. Wait, abilities? Oh, she can't do anything. Uh, doesn't have any abilities or attacks yet with, uh, the Chocobo. No defense. And, uh, I'm going to use Libra. So I know for future. Not done yet! Oh, great. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> that was a bit of a knockdown. Let's just try that again. I don't want to get hit by this thing. Yeah, I figured that was going to be the case. I think they're actually trying to teach a little bit of a lesson about um, the strength of larger creatures. Have you visited the twins' room yet? No, I have not. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh no. Ow, ow. Did you two die already? What? I died? But that's... <laughs> no way! Maybe it's true. That mirage in the Murkriff did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes, that's because someone intervened right at the moment of your demise and made it so the battle never happened. Wow, All right, you can really well, that do works. That? Of course. I mean, contextually, that Although makes Tom sense. Is the one who does it. That's the right. I have the power to rewind time a little and then to whisk you to safety. Although it costs me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? Oh, you shit. Might have to believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, this girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams, she's the one who taught me how to do it. That right. makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know... Oh, powerful time-traveling monster! ...to protect the two of you specifically, and only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Murkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always they recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest to spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Right, so that's actually yeah, an interesting way to kind of encourage you to go back to the home. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this, sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Huh, that makes sense. Especially Lon, who didn't that's actually, that's a very, very smart move. I mean, it yeah. kind of encourages you to actually go back to the hub land on a regular basis to make sure that she's well rested and that means you can go to the shop pick up your items and all that kind of thing them i wonder if it sends you like actions that you do will probably affect how long that they require uh, bah, 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 nine wood hills there's no penalty but you will have to fight your way back to where you are yeah be careful though if you're inside the threshold of a powerful mirage tama won't be able to save you it's game over inside the threshold of a powerful mirage hey, okay i'm assuming that? that implies some massive oh. creature if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go check her out. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience way. crossing between Would planes. Okay. Well, let's make sure to do this first. Always safety to save your game. Oh, that's going to get a little bit annoying because of the cross save, so it's constantly kind of putting it up online. Hmm. Hmm. I may turn that auto uh, upload off just for this, the point of saving time. So, she's over at North Promenade. Well, that was very easy to tell me. I didn't have to go searching for anybody. Thanks very much for the information. Oh, wow. She's so tiny. Is she, uh, what's the word again? Lilikin. Chocobo Golina! Oh. <coughs> oh! Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. Right. More or less. Chocobocolina? You know, what a nice, quiet place. Oh, uh... Is she meant to be the chick so from... You? The oh, 13 you sequel? Choco Latte. <laughs> I see so remember the bird costume? Here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Oh my! <laughs> they do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. <laughs> cool. All right! Care to shop? I've got the goods! Chocoboco Ching! Cha Ching! So she's the shop girl. Great. That makes sense. Yep, Chocop. 
and chalk ourselves up to it. So I'm plenty of stock. So what's got here? Potions and antidotes and pick me ups, which is remove sleep. Almost up or so. The last stuff here that I don't have money for just yet, so I'm gonna leave it be. Like I only have what 107 wow, gil. Think about the time. Down. What kind of operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. Mm -hmm. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. Yeah. I'm your Chobo connection. What's well, useful to have her everywhere? So, okay, hey, so we don't need are her you anymore. Ready to head back to Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I didn't mean to interrupt you as we were walking through the door. What were you trying to say? Oh, we're just going to go to the cutscene anyway. Oh! Uh, show that yourself, Seraphy! I didn't know it was you! You had it coming. You know, when you awaken, you should have woke me up, too. I don't remember raising you to be such a selfish selfer poo. Well, I don't remember you the raising me at all! Who's this? Oh, hi. I'm just your adorable local wind pixie, a.k.a. Seraphie. Seraphie. Oh, yeah. My hobbies I'll include cut gossip, out your mind, eyes. and, uh, let's see. I have the oh, will I'm good at hoarding things. to end yep. you. Hoarding? Hoarding. Why do you Sorry. even hear? <laughs> She's got the dead eyes of a killer. Tons she really of does. More than you can handle, right? Well, we're still working on it. Uh-huh. You'll have scads of them before long. You're gonna need a place to unload. Yeah, they are kind of bulky. Well, who's got your yeah, It's a bit of a pain. They're this just kind of like they're like right really here. awkward in the pocket. You know the points sticking in your knee or leg whenever you sit down? All your prismarium safe. Just plonk the ones you don't need in and you ink the ones you do need out. out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines Just like of the innards of my enemies. location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree. Oh, yeah. This prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Like the love and affection I okay. feel for all the hearts I've Seraphie's taken. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Storm arises in the prism case, and a Kroos has entrusted Seraphie with a prism case that automatically stores all the prismariums you collect. You can use it to select which mirages you take with you on your adventures. The prism case also where you are permitted to transfigure mirages. Talk about a handy contraption. Transfig. So I'm assuming that's actually where you uh, you start doing the whole combining them together, different ones. Okay, I got this. Yeah. Keeps uh, the prism core case in Ninewood Hills. You can access it by talking to her directly, but the case is also at your disposal in Grimoire. Yeah. All right, so we can grab it from the menus. Wait. Oh, who knows? Obtained a Seraphone? It's a special device you can use to call Seraphie and access your prism case remotely. Seraphie's not too keen on leaving Ninewood Hills, but thanks to the Seraphone, you can swap in mirages while you're out in the go. All right. Keep in mind that each Seraphone can only be used once because Seraphie doesn't feel like getting the offer. <laughs> this game's actually got it's got it's, it's got a good sense of charm to itself. Uh, it it's very it feels very self-aware. It doesn't feel like it's actually like it being too seriously bogged down in this. <laughs> because your data security is important, of course. <laughs> uh, self prismarium, sweet. So I got a wee self as well. A uh, tiny wind pixie that makes its home in forests and other places of natural beauty. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, uh, fairy murderer. Ah, okay. Uh, psycho killer? No. I'm trying to think of what to name it. Hmm. I don't know. Who should this be? Psycho killer, kiss cassé. Dead eye. <laughs> there we go. Dead eye. There we go. That's good. Okay, to the grimoire. Is this the way I'm going? No, this is the way I'm going. I was wondering why I was backtracking there a wee bit. Back to the park. Any 
Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes. Aww. You handle things now. Well, until we find okay. out what your name Either really will. is, Anna Cruz, it's or should good. I say, Sorcane? Uh, 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 Rose? Rose Kian? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm just saying, like, you make anagrams in my head and I ever need Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you barely do anything. anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think my it's rule just is... science. Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> Are you literally mean. God? You're saying you can't help because that I'm God. violates the I'm rules Morgan of the world Freeman. or something? Exactly. How about you take off but my job for a couple is that? I mean, You come go on. and get the Mirage. Just who do you think you are? And I'll see you on the Me? 7th at 7. Oh, well. I'm God. <laughs> I knew it! Okay, so as every single Final Fantasy game ever made, we now have to beat the He's shit out of her. Gone. Because every Final Fantasy game is about killing God. Uh, I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she, she seems was all right. kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Krell for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh... Thanks for clearing it up. So we've just given God the name. God's name is Anna Crow. Fair enough. Here's a fun little trick. During cutscenes, you can hold R1 to click the speed through the conversation. And not good enough for you? Press options and then press triangle to skip. Well, that's going to be useful in the future. <laughs> if you start skipping scenes with Abandon, it won't be long before you have zero idea what's going on in the story. That's exactly true. Right, um, oh yeah, so, but then again, if it's your second trip through Greymoor, you may want to get right down to business to defeat the Huns. Uh, you've always got the adventure log to fall back on. Now I've got that tune stuck in my head. I can't get rid of it. Why did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? <laughs> you're not suited for the rage of war Pack up, go home, you're through How could I make a man out of you? Never gonna catch my breath Say goodbye to those who knew me <laughs> Do I feel a fool for crowding jam? Your mother's scared to death Hope he doesn't see right through me I wish I knew how to swim. Be a man. Plus, <laughs> as the raging river, be a man. <laughs> With all the power of a great typhoon. <laughs> God, I, I can't help it. It's actually one of, the, you know, it's one of those tunes once you start into, you can't stop yourself singing the rest of it. <laughs> All right, no, we need to get on with the game. Otherwise, I'll be sitting here doing like sing-alongs for the next wee while. So where are we going? Uh, we've got towns, regions, dungeons. So Wellspring Woods, that's the way we go. Ah, oh, right, so you can switch characters. Yeah. No effect in combat, so feel free to use this feature just for fun. Well, Guess what? that certainly cost us a chunk <laughs> like, of time. Always, always, um, always, always, always pick oh, the girl. Uh, yeah, I want Nate. <gasps> it's a fluffy tail! Look at that fluffy tail! Auto mode. Yeah, well, it's a yellow attack if you wanna. Target him with the basic menu, left, right to select. I probably use classic if I'm gonna do direct targeting of some sort, just because it feels a little bit more controlled. Um, so we can't use abilities. Yet, can we? Oh, okay. Challenge element wind. But that's not gonna help. Um, I'm just gonna attack. Just move. 
Oh, there we go. In prison. <laughs> You're all mine now, boy. Hello, squirrely boy. You're mine. Let's take a little dumpling with a teal. Well, that ought that to do That wasn't it. so bad. Where the fuck did she get the knife from? <laughs> I'm mildly confused here. Where the fuck did she pull a knife out of? Okay. I don't remember her having that knife before. <laughs> oh, look at this chicken. He's so cute. A cute little forest animal, at least that's what he wants you to think. Then pow, a teal punch to the jaw. This mirage has nothing to do with a legendary continent. May or may not speak meh when upset. Meh. Legendary continent of Moo? The only Moo's I can think of are Chrono Trigger? Oh my god. <laughs> that would actually be kind of cool. If, I, if we ran into a Chrono Trigger character in this. Oh man, that would be fucking amazing. I know it's Final Fantasy. I know it's not part of the parcel. It's not meant to be in it. It's not a reference to it. But it's just... I miss them. I miss those guys, man. Where's Luca? I name your Mirage. Moo. Fluffy Butt. <laughs> Fluffy Butt. To battle! I got a fluffy butt. I got my fluffy butt. Fluffy punch butt. So EXP, uh, the year in battle is split between all participating party members. Memorize that are accompanying you didn't fight in the battle, still receive a flat 8%. So any of the ones that were just in your pocket, get 8%. Okay, that's great. And the ones in the present case get none. Makes sense. Oh, wow. So speaking of that, uh, we need to fix our stacks here a wee bit, don't we? Um, well, I'm definitely not using those at the moment, so I'm using this. Um, so what's a medium? So these are all smalls. Hmm. I need to find out what... Uh, view abilities. There we go. That's awesome. So Sylph has Whisper Wind, Balance, and Tickle. Oh, so it'd be useful for knocking stuff down. Alright, cool. And the chocolate chick has ram stroll. Okay, ram stroll. Okay, well that's a directed physical attack. I might Let's switch that out that one out for the dead eye selfie because she has. Um, yeah, I'm gonna swap her out for that. Because I, I have something that means I can unstack creatures if they happen to be stacked already, which will work pretty well for me. And Tom is going nowhere. <laughs> no point in even thinking about that. And we've got no mediums to throw in yet, so let's rock and roll. Do we get any new items? Eh, I'm just the posters of Phoenix Stones that we already had. Oh, so uh, let's rock and roll. Yeah, I want names. See, it's just the fact that I'm looking at the map really rather than even, or the mini map rather than actually me, my own map. Oh, already opened that one. Yay! Random fights. Yeah, we got this. I guess we're doing this. Oh, two moves. Okay. Do we already have a move, so we can just beat the crap out of these ones? Go attack. Attack. Oh crap. Oh, they don't hit too hard, which is good enough. Are we on auto battle now? Ah, cool. And that way we can no speed up the battle to the time gap in between. Awesome. So this is kind of like partially implying what Tama's powers were, allowing her to actually speed stuff up. <coughs> oh, I don't even feel my voice starting to go a wee bit from this gameplay. I should try so much harder not to actually stream myself in these shows. But I can't help it, I just I'm, I'm get so excited. Okay, so... I don't want to fight this dude again. Yeah. Come on, don't touch it this time. Yeah. I know, I know. But... 
Could we see all this stuff before? Now that you fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. Right. And if you're the happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Oh, cool. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lon. <laughs> Why are you repeating it? Just for my sake? And just for my sake? Yeah, because you're going to fail, Lon. <laughs> you're going to mess this up. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to take a quick break here and swap in for another episode, guys. Uh, obviously, there's going to be a continuation of Chapter 1 here of World of Final Fantasy. We've just barely scraped the bottom of the beginning of the game. Like, it's just the fact that I want to keep this kind of, like, fast-paced. And uh, if you want to see a new episode, there will be a new episode very soon, right after this one. We, we're we probably going to release a lot of them all together at the very top, so you can get to know a lot of the game really quickly. But, um... Yeah, guys, thanks very much for watching. This has been World of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. Here on PlayStation 4, on past each of skin. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. And if you want to see the rest of them, they're already sitting up here. And subscribe up here if you haven't caught an episode of this yet. Makes sense. Do you click on all these things at once. So, see you then, and see you in the other videos. Bye.